So today I'm going to be showing you guys my morning and nighttime skincare routine. And I'm going to be starting with my morning skincare first, of course. And we're just going to hop right into it. So the first thing I'm going with is a cleanser. I do like to wash my face morning and night because I do have oily skin. And I like to use the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser for the daytime. And I really like this one. This one is for normal to oily skin. I've been using this one for quite some time now. I go back and forth from this to my Skin Better Cleansing Gel. This is just more affordable. So I'm just gonna start cleansing. And I do know that some people don't um, think it's necessary to like wash their faces in the daytime. They just like to like rinse it with water and just go in with the rest of their products. But I cannot do that because my skin gets super oily and it gets so oily to the point where like it starts to sting my eyes. Like oil gets into my eye like at night when I'm sleeping. I like to have a fresh cleansed face in the morning. And I really love the CeraVe cleanser because it's super simple and gentle. It's also fragrance free. If you guys have been watching our channel for a while, then you know that I do not use fragrance on my skin just because it irritates it. And I do have very um, oily, acne prone, like reactive skin. And every time I've used fragrance on my skin in the past, it does not do well. Like it stings and I break out and it's just not cute. So we don't do the fragrance anymore. Wanna get the neck. Okay, so I'm just gonna pat dry my face with a gauze. If I'm out of towels, I will use like a gauze like this. I get these from Amazon and I love using gauze because they just, I like these way better than like, well, I don't like cotton balls at all. Like I just hate cotton balls, like the texture, they give me anxiety. But these gauze are really good to like pat dry my face. And the next product I like to go in with is a eye cream. This is the Skin Better Interfuse treatment eye cream and i love this one because it has peptides and i really like how this feels underneath makeup this is a really good daytime eye cream it's really lightweight it's not too thick and i just like how it feels underneath my eyes and it doesn't like make my eyes burn like some eye creams used to in the past so i really really like this one Okay, so next I like to go in with moisturizer and sunscreen. Like I said, my morning skincare is super simple, but I'm not gonna lie, on the days where I'm lazy, I will mix these two instead of doing like two separate steps, but I'm gonna do two separate steps today, just do it the proper way for you guys. So this is my moisturizer from Skin Better. This is the Trio Rebalancing Moisture Treatment. I've been using this moisturizer for about a year now, and I always use a lot because I'm obsessed with moisturizer. And even though I have oily skin, my skin likes moisture, but not like super like thick oily moisturizers. This one is like very lightweight, but it's still super nourishing at the same time. Like I don't like gel moisturizers because I feel like they're too watery and I feel like they don't do anything for my skin. Um, I feel like they absorb too quickly. But this one feels like nice and luxe and luxurious. So, I love that. I also really love these Skin Better products because for the longest time I was looking for a medical grade skincare that was fragrance free and I found that that was really hard to find. And then I found the Dallas Esthetician on Instagram and I saw her using these products. She talked about um, all the benefits and she used to have acne as well. And she's just a really good um, esthetician for people who have had breakouts and struggled with, you know, problematic skin. I found skin better for her and never looked back. Okay, so moisturizer's on. I love this moisturizer, like I said. So it still feels nice and glowy, like I feel nice and lubricated, you know? And then I'm gonna go in with my sunscreen. This is the Sun Better Advanced Mineral Protection Garage Spectrum SPF 75 Sunscreen Lotion. A mouthful, but this is a really good sunscreen. The only downside is that it takes forever in a day to rub in. It's really annoying how this takes forever they do have a sheer version that's like a just like a creamy white lotion um neither one of them leave like a super intense white cast but if you don't rub it in the right way it can i just keep using it because this is the best sunscreen that i've ever used so i do about like two pumps that's enough to cover my whole face and my neck so you want to get enough to cover your face and neck so i pat like this first And then I just like to go up on my neck, like so. And then that is when I will start to work it in. 
And the really good thing about this sunscreen, well obviously besides the fact that it's SPF 75, which is really high, it um, is water resistant and it also smooths out like any pores. Like it, it does a really good job at like, you know, filtering things if you have super large pores, which I don't because I exfoliate once a week. Um, but if you did have really large pores, it would help with that. And I'm not getting paid to talk about skin batter. I have just came to love it over the past like year, almost year and a half. I haven't done a skincare routine in a while because I like to use products for an extended period of time to see if it actually works for me. Look, I'm not someone who switches up my routine super often because my skin doesn't react well to that. And for me, um, a skincare routine has to be consistent in order for me to see results. I feel like that's for anybody though, right? It's super important for me to be consistent with my products. Otherwise, I wouldn't even feel like it's worth showing you guys. I also like the sunscreen because you can give yourself a little massage while you're rubbing it in. I go into the hairline because Kelsey is always bringing up the fact that I have sunscreen line around my hairline. She's just looking out for me, but I try to remember to rub it into the hairline, but some days when I'm in a rush, I don't, but I should get better at that. And over time to the longer it's on the skin, it will continue to like adapt to your skin tone, which I really love. So don't be alarmed like when you first put it on, especially like if you have oily skin like me, your oils will can like seep through and it'll start to look even nicer. And this wells really well under makeup as well. Also, if you guys are wondering why doesn't she use like a serum or anything like that, it's because I've used so many like vitamin C serums in the past and I feel like they're super expensive but they don't give me enough results like that I'm looking for. So for me personally, I felt like it was starting to become a waste of money, like to keep repurchasing like expensive vitamin C over and over and I wasn't really seeing a huge difference. So for me, I just eliminated that from my morning skincare and um, all of my like super like potent serums or like the serum step is in my nighttime skincare routine. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with a lip oil this is the clarence lip oil lip comfort oil in the color 03 cherry i like to have something on my lips at all times and i really like this one because it's like a sheer red like a cherry red and it smells like cherries too and there we go okay so that's it for my morning skincare routine i told y'all it was super simple and quick my nighttime routine is slightly longer than my morning routine um which is normal so you will see that later or in two seconds. Okay, you guys, so it is evening time and I've been wearing this makeup on for quite a few hours. Uh, don't know exactly how long, but it was earlier today and now it's nighttime, so long enough. And this is my favorite part of the day, taking off my makeup. So first thing I like to do is take off my jewelry because I hate washing my face with rings on. So I'm going to take off my jewelry and wash my hands. I think that goes without saying, wash your hands, you know, before you touch your face. But before I do that, I'm going to put up my hair and I always use one of my little satin scrunchies. I get these like off Amazon. Okay, so for makeup removal, I like to use a cleansing balm. This is the Inky List Oak Cleansing Balm. I've gone through so many of these. And if you guys have been watching our videos for a while, then you know that this is my favorite cleansing balm. It's super affordable and it just does a really good job at getting all of my makeup off. It doesn't sting my eyes. So this is really good. And this is a new one. I just finished my old one. I feel like I go through these like water. So I get quite a lot when I'm wearing makeup. I usually go in with less than this when I'm not wearing makeup. But I need more, obviously, um, when I have a lot of makeup on. And I double cleanse every single day, even when I'm not wearing makeup, just because sunscreen and, you know, just dirt and oil from the day um, is still on your skin, even if you're not wearing makeup. So I just like to do this step first, no matter what. And I'm going to look crazy. So I'm warning you guys, I'm probably going to look like the Joker because I had red lipstick today. And this gets off everything. So when I'm at the point where I look crazy, like right now, I usually go in with one of these makeup erasers, but I wet it first and get it damp. 
And then I'll just gently wipe the makeup away. And I'm just gonna go in, wipe it off. And I'm going like over my face like really gently. And these top towels are really soft. I don't know like what this material is, but these are super soft. I get like a pack off Amazon. And this isn't the makeup eraser brand. I do have some of those, but I really like these that I got off Amazon because they're even softer. Um, so the makeup just comes right off. That's why I love the cleansing balm because you're not like rubbing your face for days, which is so bad for it. And I like to just gently wipe it away and just comes right off. I don't have to work hard because makeup wipes don't really take your makeup off. They just, you know, move the makeup around the face, which is why people have to go through so many wipes. Um, so I don't, I don't like makeup wipes. So even though I feel like most of the makeup is pretty much gone, I like to go in a second time with the cleansing balm and add water to it to get like that milky consistency. So I like it to look like this. This is what it looks like when you add water to it. And I like to go over my face a second time just because I like to be sure, you know? Because there's nothing worse than going to sleep with makeup on your face. And my skin is really sensitive and reactive. So if I don't cleanse my face properly, I will wake up with breakouts. So this is very necessary. So I just added this headband to get like my edges out of the way. Just in case I have some mascara left over, I may not, but just in case I like to go in with this Lancome by Facial Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. I've been using this for years to get rid of like excess like eye makeup and like mascara and stuff. So I just go over the lash a little bit and get rid of any excess mascara so I don't really see that much on there. Just in case, I like to go in with this. This is a really good eye makeup remover. So at this point, I usually go in with my actual cleanser to wash my face, but I do that after I get out of the shower. So I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna come back and do the rest of my routine. Okay, so I am out of the shower and I'm gonna go in with my cleanser from Skin Better. This is their oxygen infusion wash. So this is like a foaming cleanser and it comes out like a liquid first. And then after you work it in, it turns into a foam. And I love this cleanser because it does a really good job at like unclogging the pores and getting all the excess dirt. It does a really good job at just cleansing my face, especially because I have oily skin and this cleanser is really good even though it is a foaming cleanser because I typically do not like foaming cleansers, but this one, my skin loves it. So I usually cleanse for about a minute. Sometimes I do cleanse longer than a minute because I just get distracted, like if I'm watching a YouTube video or something while I'm in here. Um, but I like to make sure my skin's really clean because this step is just important. It's like your leave-on products because I feel like if your skin isn't clean, then the products you use, like that you leave on overnight, aren't really gonna penetrate into the skin like it should if you don't cleanse properly. So that's why cleansing is such an important step for me. And I just love a clean face. Like I can't stand like when my face feels dirty. And I always like to get in the hairline because sometimes I'll get breakouts in there like from like my hair product. So I like to make sure I get in the hairline as well. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse this off. I'm just gonna pat dry with this towel. Uh, I'm just gonna use this once. I have a lot of these little white towels. Um, I always use them like once and then I'll just get a new one. Also, I did brush my teeth just now. I just didn't do it on camera. I like to brush my teeth, usually before I wash my face, but I just did it after. Okay, so next step is gonna be my retinol step after I cleanse. This is the serum that I've been using for about a year and a half now. This is the Alpha Red Clearing Serum by Skin Better. And I really like this serum because it's done a really good job at keeping my skin clear. It does have salicylic acid and retinol in it, um, but it was formulated like that. Like I wouldn't recommend buying a separate like salicylic acid product and going in with like a retinol because it will irritate your skin. Especially if you have sensitive skin, like don't mix salicylic acid and retinol. Um, at least for me, I can't do that. But this product was formulated like specifically with those ingredients by professionals. So, you know, I like to leave it to them. I'm not trying to be a chemist in my bathroom. That's not what I do. So, um, this serum has done a really good job at keeping my skin clear. It does tingle a little when you first put it on, but that only lasts about a minute um, and it goes away. So I've been through so many bottles of that, like being consistent with skincare also is one of the things I noticed made a big difference in my skin, like for me personally, and also eliminating fragrance. 
in all of my skincare products because that also did not do my skin any favors. So no fragrance and being consistent are the top two things that really help my skin. And of course, obviously the right ingredients like retinol is so important in the skincare routine. Um, my nighttime skincare routine. Next, I'm gonna go on with my eye cream. This is the IMAX from Skin Better. This is the Alpha Red Overnight Cream. This is their eye cream and this also has retinol in it. I love this eye cream. This and the other one that I use, the Interfuse in the daytime, these are like the only two eye creams that I actually feel like are worth it. Um, the daytime one I use has peptides in it and this one has retinol and I love them both. So I just pat, pat, pat again. And then last, I like to go in with my moisturizer, the Trio Rebalancing Moisture Treatment from Skin Better. I'm obsessed with this moisturizer, y'all. It's super silky and it's not super thick, but my skin feels nice and nourished. I'm obsessed with this moisturizer. My skin loves it. I've been using it. I've been using all these products for about a year and a half. It just glides on the skin like silk. Like I'm obsessed with the texture of this. Like I said, none of these products have a smell because they're fragrance free. So I don't need a scent on my products to enjoy them. I need them to work. So that makes me enjoy my products. Please don't skip your neck, it's a part of your face. Also your chest, but I haven't been getting that like in the video because I'm not wearing anything under here. Just got out of the shower. So I do get my neck and chest. And my very last step is my lip balm. This is my favorite lip balm from Lano Lips. This is the coconut one. And I like to top my skincare routine off with a, a lot of lip balm, so. Okay, you guys, so that wraps up my nighttime skincare routine. I'm gonna leave a link to Skin Better in the description box and also a link to the other products that I mentioned in the video, of course. You guys, let me know if you have a simple skincare routine or if you're just extra and you have like 10 steps. Ingredients are really important, not just the steps. It's about like how necessary each step is for me. So I'm very intentional about the steps on my skincare routine and this has been working for me. So. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next one.